Hi there. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person and what do these cards have to say today. I did one your person reading this morning. I thought I would do another um, and you know because it's general read and you know everyone is different so it may or may not make sense. Uh, but you'll know if it's your reading or not. Um, okay, let's jump right in. Cards are shuffled. What do we have today? We've got the sun. Devil. World. Six of sword. Four of cups. King of Pentacle, Eight of Pentacle, Lovers, wow. There's some big energies here. I mean, we've got a, quite a few majors here. Sun, Devil, World, Lovers. You know what's interesting is that in the other reading I did, the Devil and the Lovers came out also. Um, but with the with the clarifier deck, if I'm not mistaken, uh, see, yeah, it's like the energies, the energies are similar here, but it's like there's definitely like moving on here. As difficult as it may be, there's moving on. Uh, there's refocusing on what's important here. Because uh, your person has suffered a disappointment in some way. I feel like there's an emotional disappointment. They were disappointed. They're either disappointed in themselves or disappointed in their situation. Uh, this four cup here is, is just like screaming disappointment. Like how did this happen? Like questioning like how did I get here? How did this happen? Uh, I'm going to pull a... Let's pull... Let's pull a Harmony Angel card. Ooh, that's uh, Raphael here. So there's a healing happening here. Uh, this gold and silver here. Interesting, the gold and silver. Uh, the other reading, Archangel Michael's cloak and sword came out. Um, so, like, the Archangels are here. Like, I got two. There's, you know, these Harmony Angel cards, is, like, has tons of um, different angels um, but we got two archangels here. So it's like the universe is protecting um, your person, your connection with your person. Uh, there's some there's prosperity coming in here uh, for you and your person, uh, whatever that means, because prosperity and abundance come in a myriad of ways. You know, there's emotional fulfillment, there's some um, physical well-being, there's financial abundance, you know, mental health, um, all of the above. Um, so, but sometimes before we get there, where we're put through like, um, I guess we'll call it a test. Like, okay, something like, like everything's going along smoothly. And then, you know, something happens that upsets the apple cart. And it's like how you deal with it um, is key here. It's like just, just if, when something happens that's like, whoa, why did that happen? Why did I get dissed in that way? Um, there's something about just continuing to just be grateful, continuing, just just don't let it throw you off course here. Because sometimes I feel like this devil energy wants to throw someone off course or your person, like make them doubt themselves or, or um, there's something about like, you know, when, when you're just about to have a, a breakthrough, a success, like something happened here that, that's like, you know, makes them question like, oh, you know, will it ever happen or can I do this? Um, and the key here, what these cards are saying is just, just stay focused on your goal um, and just be, could get, Hold your gratitude because things are happening. Things are moving. This new cycle is coming in. You have everything you need. Uh, there's there's um, there's a union of souls here is what I'm hearing. 
Uh, this is lover's energy, the sun energy. Maybe you've been kept apart from your person for whatever reason. Uh, maybe you needed to, you know, go your separate ways to learn separately, to grow separately. Because uh, if you think about it, you know, okay, so if, if the... If the two of you joined forces, you know, long ago or, or you know, before you were ready, then it may not have come to, like, full fruition. Uh, there's something that's ready to come to full fruition now. Uh, the sun energy. I feel like your person sees the light now. They know where they want to go. It's been a difficult journey uh, but but it's we're going places now. I'm looking at the six of sword. Lovers is a six. Sixes are about balance, equality, um, honoring each other, reciprocity. Here, it's like there's there's um, there's a union of souls here. Is what I'm hearing from this lovers card. This lovers card is in your person's heart space. Uh, lovers can be about making choices. Um, and, you know, choose to choose to remain focused on the goal. You know, there, there's something, there's a goal that you came to earth to achieve, uh, a soul mission, a soul purpose. Um, and I feel like your person is ready to go in that direction, as challenging as that may be. You know, they, they've suffered some disappointments here with this... Um, Four of Cups, but it doesn't mean that the blessing disappeared. It's just out of sight or or they lost their vision for a while or they went down a path that, you know, was not, um, I don't know how to say it. There's something like maybe they chose these cups and realized that, wait a minute, there's something more. There's something that's waiting for me here that I can't quite see. So just stay focused on the goal and the universe will line up to uh, assist you moving forward. Whatever needs to be healed will be healed to draw the two of you uh, together here. This Raphael energy is very healing. It's it's medicinal, uh, whether that's a physical healing, a mental healing. Yeah, this judgment energy. I love this because it's like saying that, you know, hearing the call, like do 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 okay help is on the way follow me you're going in the right direction we're all going to uh, meet here like the people places situations environments energies uh, that are meant to be in your world are, are coming together they're um, joining forces here there's there's an abundance there's prosperity here stay focused on it is what i'm getting here fool yeah there's a brand new fresh beginning all of this energies that we've gone through all of the life experiences whether we label them good or bad or or you know indifferent there's there's it's all learning experiences and when something something hits us or something disses us or something happens that's like why you know like why did this happen um just just uh Keep focused here. This Eight of Pentacles is saying just keep focused on the goal here. Don't allow anything to distract you from, you know, your vision here. You are supported. You are loved here. I love that we got this Two of Cups here. Uh, this Caduceus. Focus on the opportunity to heal from... Uh, a situation if somebody dissed you it's there to um, make you aware that you know there's something better for you there's you know like there's something there's a healing taking place here Raphael is very healing uh, with this caduceus it's like there's a mixture it could be like um, twin flame energy you know feminine masculine joining forces here after uh, being separated uh, this lover's energy, yes, yeah, five of pentacles, yes, um, there was a separation, um, and it's time to, you know, become warm again, things are going to warm up again, I love that, because we got the sun here, and that's what your person is most desiring, the sun energy, uh, page of wands, yeah, there's something about, I think that card, that exact card came out in the same spot, um, 
in in the, the other reading I did here, like this this page of wands. There's a fresh start. There's a new beginning. There's an innocence here. It's like returning to uh, the beginning, returning to each other, uh, learning from the past, learning from things that drained our energy, learning from things that um, were toxic, learning from our past experiences and moving on, closing that chapter. Yeah. And becoming who we were meant to be. We got queen of pentacles, king of pentacles here. It's like a new beginning for uh, this king and queen in the earthly world, in the real world, in your physical realm. Uh, there's a new new chapter, a new abundant and prosper new abundant and prosperous chapter opening up. Follow your intuition. Always follow your intuition, even if it feels like it doesn't make sense. Follow your intuition and and often times you will not be led astray. It's when we second guess our intuition that we're led astray. Like, you know, you know, my, you know, usually in hindsight, it's like I knew I knew there was something off about that. But I just, you know, I trusted where I shouldn't have trusted or, you know, tr always trust your intuition here. You'll never be led astray. Uh, the six of swords, like moving forward where we're going we're crossing the we're crossing the shore here we're crossing to the next phase here with this fertile abundance here um it's not easy it's precarious you know we have to go very be very careful it might be you know a painful journey but once we get to that other side Ah, it'll be a big sigh of relief here. Ooh, the hermit energy. I think I got that. And I got that in that position in the other deck too, or the other reading with the other deck here. This hermit. Hermit knows where to go, even if it's dark out. Hermit trusts his intuition, trusts his soul guidance, uh, and moves forward. Things are definitely about to change and be healed uh, is what I'm getting here. All right, I'm going to read uh, the Raphael card in closing. If you're still watching, please do like, subscribe. I uh, appreciate that very much. Thanks for watching. All that, all that uh, fun stuff. All right, let's see if I can find Raphael here. Where might Raphael be? Page 122. The Caduceus. Raphael's healing symbol. The card of grounding, integration, and polarity balance. The Caduceus of Raphael is also depicted with Hermes Trim Trimeskistos. It represents grounding in the integration wisdom of sky higher self joining wisdom of earth the lower self plus the balancing of our polarities the gold and silver snakes represent masculine and feminine energy respectively while the points where the snakes cross the rods itself symbolize the chakra energy centers from base to third eye this card means that you need to ground balance and integrate yourself you can do this by making a pyramid shape above your head by joining your two palms, pointing upward. Invoke Raphael and ask him to join you from sun and sky to earth and moon by placing the caduceus through your crown, down your spine, and into earth. Ask that the caduceus link you with the crystal heart of Mother Earth where the sacred flame burns. Let gold sun and silver moon energy flow down until they reach and are renewed in the sacred flame. Then visualize the twin flames winding back up the caduceus, balancing your polarities, left and right, silver and gold, masculine and feminine, sun, moon, and earth, until they reach your third eye chakra. Then bring down your palms, saying namaste, to acknowledge Raphael's help. Peace be with you. Bye now.